and my name is Isabella Wu. My average score is about mid to high 70s. I've been playing golf about two years, and some of the pros in my game is I can do really well for the first nine, or but under pressure, I tend to really mess up. So today I want to try to learn what I can do under pressure. Yeah, absolutely, Bella. Uh, glad to have you here, number one. And number two, we're going to talk about what happens when you get a little bit of pressure in tournaments, okay? Bella, have you struggled with um, with your grip pressure as, as things get more intense out on the golf course or in the round? Yeah, I sometimes I really tighten up and that affects my golf swing. Absolutely. You're not alone. Whether you're an amateur or whether you're at the highest level of golf, grip pressure is very important to understand. So today we're going to cover that, okay, and how, how to really kind of understand what's going on with the hands when we get a little bit nervous or when, you know, just throughout the round we tend to forget about it. Um, during my career here, I get all the time, and I hear this from other professionals as well, What, from 1 to 10, what scale of grip pressure do you hold a club? Well. Uh, Bella, we're never gonna. I'm never a big fan of that. One to ten is really hard to explain when it comes to you know from coach to coach. So not saying that it's wrong, but for me, my preference is understanding that when we hold a club. So let's go ahead and take your grip on, on the club here for a second. Let me see your grip. So as we look face on here, let's have you face forward here. As we go ahead and take off the right hand here, okay, and let's slowly open up this left hand here. As you can see here, she's got the club in her fingers and most of it right now is being held by the three bottom fingers. So as you can see that the, the trigger finger and the thumb are basically just sitting up here. I'm a huge component of understanding the hand and how it works. So if, if you don't mind, I'm going to borrow your club here for a second though. As you look at my hand here, okay, I've been holding this club for over 20 years so I, I've gotten used to it. But when I start out with students, they usually tend to put the grip in their palm too much and that becomes, you lose mobility in the wrist. You lose mobility from your shoulders down to the elbows, okay? So the first thing I look at and we look at here at Epic Studios when we are looking at a grip is understanding where that club is sitting in the hand. Because there's nothing more important than having the proper grip. That is the only thing that connects our club to our body. It's our hands that really manipulate what happens to that club face. So again, I cannot emphasize here at Epic Studios, if you do not have the basics, especially a grip pressure, that's a, a grip that's consistent and really good, not much we can do with your golf swing if you don't have the correct fundamentals down. So again, one more time, if you look at my hands here, I put it in my three fingers and you can absolutely see my whole palm here. The moment I do this with most juniors, they start shaking because they're not used to holding the club in the fingers, okay? Now, Bella. Go ahead and pull this club out of my hand. You try to pull it out of my hand, okay? So as I do this, I'm not thinking about a scale of one to 10 and how hard I'm holding this. Realistically, if you measured my tension on my three fingers here, probably a thousand. Again, really yank this, not going anywhere. But the important factor here is if you look at my trigger finger, my thumb here, it just sits ever so slightly or lightly on top of the grip. Again, let me emphasize, my trigger finger and my thumb are ever so lightly on the grip. Down here, I'm holding it for dear life because I don't want the club to disappear. See that? So now, I do the same thing with the left hand here, okay? Bottom three fingers, trig pointing finger and thumb are ever so lightly on the club. Now I combine those two, again, the three fingers, which is a total of six fingers on the club, and then the top finger, meaning the trigger finger and my thumb, the top of my hand, that's what I call the top of the hand, these two right here, sit ever so slightly on the club. Now look at this, I have so much mobility. So when you're out there, Bella, and you're in a pressure situation and you're trying to figure out, and correct me if I'm wrong, when you have to hit a shot, are you trying to find the right grip? Okay. Yeah. Absolutely. If you've never been in that situation, you wouldn't know what it's like, but that is the biggest thing. When you're getting over a shot and you really need to hit a really important golf shot, I guarantee you're trying to figure out where that club is gonna fit in the hand. So when that happens next time, I really want you to go back to what we're talking about today is go ahead and again the three fingers and now for right now just lightly hold it here, okay? And now put the other three fingers on the clip. There you go. So the top thumb and the trigger finger here are sitting so slightly on the club and we can basically become windshield wipers. Look at that. That's awesome. Your wrists are fast. 
So the other key component of club head speed is going to be having the right grip pressure. So let me watch you take a cut at it here. Let's go ahead and hold this club in the three fingers like we discussed, very lightly, okay? And go ahead and make a swing. Really think about that. I mean, it doesn't get any better than that, folks. If you look at that right down the middle, and yeah, go right through the ball. I mean, let's let's review this swing here. Bella, that's an outstanding golf swing, okay? Thank you. So as I pull this up here, great setup, great posture. Like Coach mentioned in previous episodes, the takeaway matches her hand here. Everything was really good. She gets up to the top. Oh my gosh, look at that. Matches the hands and the, and the grip. Perfect. And that club just releases ever so nicely because of your grip pressure. So never underestimate the correct grip pressure in the club. Okay, folks? So, Bella, let's go ahead and do this one more time. As we set up here, I, I want to make sure that you are very comfortable. And again, your thought process is what now? Thank you. Focus on my three fingers on the thumb. Absolutely, but then the, the fundamental aspect of that also is making sure that the trigger finger and the thumb is just lightly sitting there. Again, the bottom fingers right here, if you ever play video games, which I did not play much video games, but I have kids that do, again, usually the controllers are underneath the, the console, so it's usually down below here. So again, kind of like that, you're going to focus on these three fingers on the bottom. Top hand, which is your trigger finger and your thumb, is lightly going to sit on the club. Go ahead and do that again. Perfect. Look at that. Your dispersion is very tight on that shot, okay? From shot to shot, very good. As we look at that again, there we go, good. Right where we want it to be, matching the hands on a halfway up the, golf, up the golf swing. And then as we come down, you initiate your left side to start opening up a little bit, lead side, left pressure there, okay? Very good there. You start coming down, and the hand works nicely through the golf swing. Outstanding, Bella. I mean, it just doesn't get much better than this, folks. So as you continue with this, I want you to follow the model that she has here, making sure, again, like we said before, you said you were tight, under pressure. Now instead of trying to work the whole hand, what is it doing on, on there? You're just making sure that the three fingers or the six fingers total actually get comfortable on the club under pressure, okay? You do that, and I promise you, You'll be able to pull the trigger when it needs to be pulled in the correct form, and you can go ahead and continue that. So one of the questions I have is, what should I be thinking when I'm under pressure? Exactly. So that's a great question. Under pressure, I think it has to do with breathing. Okay, number one, we all stop breathing over the ball. Common. I mean, if you're not human if that doesn't happen. If, it, if, it, if the shot really matters, you're not human. But just like anything we do in life, as long as you're aware of it, Awareness is key, folks. Just like anything we do, if we're aware of something, we can make change to that pattern, okay? So, as I hear from you, you are aware that you do get nervous under pressure. Now, once you go through your checklist in your mind, okay, oh my gosh, I'm not breathing. Take a deep breath, okay? And then like what we talked about before, take a deep breath, go ahead, go through your routine. If you work with Coach on your golf swing, he creates a routine for you Never lose sight of that because it's a process of what you're doing with the grip. Now, as far as homework, this is what I want you to focus on, okay? I want you to take two golf balls here, okay? So I want these one golf ball down at the bottom of your fingers here, okay? As you can see here in my hands, you're going to hold it like this. And then you're going to hold another golf ball in your trigger finger and your thumb, okay? What that's gonna do is, what I want you to do is be able to hold onto the golf ball here at the bottom three fingers and be able to release the ball in the fingers and the thumb. And you're just gonna work on side on throws. Now what is that gonna do? That is really gonna teach you that, okay, I'm still holding onto this ball, but I'm having to release this. And my hands and wrists are actually gonna be able to activate. Okay, because if you had a really firm grip pressure, you can lose both balls at the same time. So this shows you that the hand works and you can work in two positions at one time. Okay? Do you have any questions? Oh, 